Hey guys, so I'm back and it's time to do Sydney's hair again and I'm going to be doing jumbo braids again but today I'm going to be using the um, Janet Collection Easy Braid Pre-Stretched Hair which is important because I don't have time to just stretch hair all the time but this is 56 inches but I did cut like a quarter of it off because it is on a child's head but if you are an adult you don't need to cut anything and look at the texture bomb it mimics um, natural hair and it's soft and the best part about this is antibacterial um, it doesn't itch so if you are um, somebody that's allergic to this type of hair um, and you have to soak it so you won't have to do this because they did everything for you so let's get started I'm showing you that I cut like a quarter of the hair off because I don't want it to be too long on um, Sydney because she is a child and look at that I am sectioning her hair and I can't do anything without my shine and gem it gives the definition that I need is separates the parts because you want to make a nice clean part and y'all know Sydney and me and combs and parts we don't get along but she did allow me to section her hair we struggled a little bit but we got through it now I'm just going to use the um, technique that I always use to show you guys the easiest way to braid hair that's what I did on this one and the best thing about this hair that I like is that it doesn't hurt you know how you get those shiny hair first of all shiny hair nobody likes shiny hair and the second thing is it doesn't hurt you know when you get done braiding hair you're finished and then your fingers feel like knives were like just cutting you because the hair was so rough this hair isn't like that and when the hair is rough like that it does cause breakage around the base of your hair because it's so rough and it rubs up against your hair so soft braiding hair 2019 and on if you kind of been using that rough stuff the link down <laughs> the link will be down in the description box so you can get soft hair hair that um mimics your hair the good quality stuff so anyway so i'm going to show you i'm going to loop the hair and i'm using her hair her strand of hair as a third piece to braid down and then I'm just going to keep going and I'm not using rubber bands because um, I don't like using rubber bands on Sydney's hair because Sydney's hair you know 4C hair can break easily so I'm going to do everything to retain length and to make this a, a real protective style that I made sure to moisturize her hair to the fullest and here I go again I'm looping it around I'm using her hair as a third strand and I'm just going to start braiding I'm telling you guys this is the easiest method for box braids and yes some of her braids are bigger and some of them are smaller but hey I'm trying to get done with her hair um, I'm trying to get in and out we love her hair we love the finished result she loves it and that's all that matters because y'all know if y'all watch my videos this was a celebration it was a time to celebrate and look that's a big part on her edges because I don't like doing um, small braids around the edges because I feel like that causes breakage and it causes you to lose your edges so I just do big sections around there so I'm just going to go ahead and continue to show you the finished product and then I mentioned that the ends are um, feathered they're pre it's all pre stretched and the ends are feathered which I love and this was easy to dip and at the end I didn't leave them long even though I still cut the hair um, I still felt like it was too long for a child so I did use some rollers and I did um, dip them in hot water. Be careful using the hot water. Um, a tip that I will give you is um, use two towels. And before you put the first towel down, put a pillow, a thick pillow in between her back and the towel. So it's her back, 
a pillow and a towel and when you're dipping the hair um use another towel to grip it after you take it out the water so it won't touch your back that is a tip for um when you're doing when you're dipping children's hair in hot water always want to be protective and i love how sydney's hair came out i love y'all know i love sydney's edges and this hair um i did this like a couple days ago and usually she'll say mom my hair itches she'll i have to show her how to pat her pat her hair you know the black girl pat and she hasn't done that yet so that's a good thing and the hair is lightweight so you don't have to worry about um pulling the hair pulling of your hair causing tension so just last night she was spinning around doing a helicopter with her hair so that just goes to show you how lightweight the hair is so thank you guys for watching and if you like this hair um the link will be down in the description box and i thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye